Ladies and gentlemen, it's me, the Supreme Master Chief Leader in Office of Reverend Gabriel. I will tell you very swiftly a story. I'll try to swindle to dwindle it so you can get a summarized way. It took me a long time, a long time ago. And now the, the dream must come true. I'll take my hat so you can see me properly. As I leave my heart on the top of the table, I will tell you the few story we say have. Please don't go. Stay, stay tuned. Listen carefully. From 2017 to 2024, calculate how many years it took me. I was inside the egg. This is a parable and proverb. Inside the egg took me a long time so before the egg can break. Now, the 18, 18 April 2024, the egg has break, the chicken has come out from the egg, from its egg shell. Ladies and gentlemen, I am so proud because my hope took me to the light. Hope. Is for everyone, for every humankind in this earth. Whether you want to be married, whether you don't want to be married, it takes you hope. To be wealthy, it takes you hope. To go to heaven, it takes you hope. To get a job, it gets you hope. For my circumstances, of every minister, hope. Because the time has come when the yoke has break, and now I have to come a millionaire. The time has come because my hope of Mokonfist, who created me and who created the nation of the world, has told me the time has come. I was being fight fought by a huge people around me. They all wanted to bury me underground. And now the light has come. 18 April 2024, now I became a citizen of the United Kingdom. After many years, of fighting but you don't fight human you fight the devil and the truth comes always to the light you also can be the same thing some people take them three months can see people can take them six months but for my circumstances the supreme master chief leader went all around check up with the third part before the eggs came from out from the shells now I am who I am. I thank you very much for the King Charles of United Kingdom. I thank very much for the government of United Kingdom. And it is community. I'm so proud for United Kingdom. As a British person, I'm proud for everyone. That's why with respect, wherever country you are being given the right, you got to wear their flag. This flag tells me that I respect the laws of the United Kingdom and you also should, re, should also do the same. Respect the law of your country. Respect the law of your country, except, except those ones you think is homosexual or behavior of devil. That one you can't respect because we are people of God. We love God dearly. And I thank for my children. I thank for a uh, queen mother. And I thank for all my daughters and my boys, including my sisters and brothers, those ones who supported me in Calvary moment. Ladies and gents, as a citizen, yes, thank you very much. As the way I say, I got so many things to do. I'm going to the government hall where I'm going to get my ceremony of my right. Ladies and gents, Thank you very much. I wear the cup, the power of crown of human being. God bless you. Stay where you are. Please subscribe on this channel. Make today's new beginning for everything that you hold for.
but also much, much more. Well done, ladies and gentlemen. finished my British citizenship. As uh, I say, I thank you for all the people who supported me, including Queen Mother and my family. And uh, first of all, I thank God for all his blessings. Thank you. Bye-bye. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, I thank for God for your blessing, for his blessing. Uh, it's me, as you can see, let me take my hat off. Maybe you will recognize me. It's the Supreme Master Chief Leader in the Office of Reverend Gabriel. Let me put my glasses back so I can read what they're supposed to say here. Yeah? It's vitally important. A Supreme Master Chief Leader must always inform the members of this organization of the institution so they can know what's going on on behalf of the kingdomism. As a leader, there's nothing I can hide. Let me wear my hat. Of power crown. As a leader of the kingdomism, I have already spoken to you that it took me a long way, long, very long way, it took me more than a few years or seven in Calvary waiting to be accepted to the United Kingdom as a citizenship, which is I have come to finally thank to Mokumvist because I went to heaven in a few days to go and speak to the owner of this half Mokumvist to tell me what's the clue for the next I can do on behalf of his ministry because I always was protected by Geneva Convention of Human Rights based of United Nations in my country United Kingdom so I usually travel with a UK traveling document based on a indefinite leave to remain, which is as now expired. It's not expired actually, because I became a British, I'm no longer going to be uh, exempted to use the documents of the United Nations worldwide. So as a British now I am. As I can see, indefinite leave to remain, which is received from the Home Office for many years ago. Because I wanted to do this one. This is a, a document of a Home Office, which I was using. This is picture you can see, is me. Which I was using for my right in United Kingdom and worldwide. And that they give me that passport, they actually call it a traveling document, which you can see me on the picture. Now is no longer need. Uh, I also have something, let me show you, which is I'm not, I don't have it here with me. Just give me a few seconds. 
All right, guys, as I spoken to you, I have shown you the this document here. Before you have this document and paper, this is there's no limit statute given by Geneva Convention. And then you get a traveling document for 10 years. I've traveled I traveled many time and uh, this is my third one to give into the government and then they changed the law they're giving us a you cannot travel just with a traveling document they give you also id card so this biometric card works together with this before you travel if you have this one you do you don't have this one you cannot travel it this alone. Before, back in 2021, it was easy to travel. Then they created again this one. You have to buy it to them, to the home office, before you can travel worldwide. Whatever job you do. As a minister, a member, and the kingdom is my leader, I didn't have no choice but to follow the law, as you also can do. Now I am no longer need all these documents you can see here. I no longer need it as a British now. I come to the finally now. It took me many years, but it's, I, it's worthy. The government did its job with respect of human right, which is they have a right to stay in Britain as a citizenship. They given me two package of a British citizenship on my ceremony day. Let me show you. I receive on the first on the first package. This is a package of welcoming, welcoming our home secretary, the gentleman over there. What is his name, brother? Let me check. Uh huh. Our home, uh, His Majesty the King, asking welcome on behalf of himself to British government, and the and uh, your follow British citizenship into the national community. Your choice to become a British and citizens, British citizens is impo is an unimportant one. A decision has been confident, and you will look back. You will look back on with a pride. Yeah, yeah. Which is I am now. Your journey through the life to this point is unique to you and your family, and some of you may have a face significant challenge to reach this point. Your share citizenship ceremony will order in will order individuals who have each complete their own unique journey. You will go forward together from this point as a British citizens part the United Kingdom wish of your able to shape and in the future of yourself and your family, wide community. I'm not going to read all, but what is this is uh, uh, His Majesty, and uh, it is government said, which is welcome package that they give it to you to the Home Secretary, welcoming you as a British person. And as a Supreme Master Chief Leader, I didn't have no choice. I have to go to know all this Calvary. And it took me a long, long, long way. Some people like you are ordinary people, one month, two months, three months is done. But for people like me, as a great leader of this self and Supreme Master Chief leader, it needs to be investigated before I can be given the right. And I am now a British. Which is now this second package. Okay, sorry. The second package, I'm going very, going very fast, is this is the certificate as a British person at United Kingdom, which is can see be. As a British man, this is tells you certificate of naturalization as a British citizens. As a Supreme Master Chief Leading Office of Reverend Gabriel has been. Guys, sorry, it's a little bit. Uh, my battery start coming. My phone start coming full of information. Yeah, because I'm receiving all the members. All the I imagine how many countries in this safe I receive message to be prayer, prayful for them. As I receive a British citizenship. I have finished now my, my race. So therefore, I required as a overseas minister, I required the application form of envelope which is received to the post office. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the final situation. I received the, the envelope, which is I'm applying now the passport as a, for the British citizens passport. 
this is the application form you have to go through so i finalize now thank you this is my informa the information of the supreme master chief leader you also can do the same you will be blessed don't worry bye bye subscribe to our channel the kingdom of Mokovich ministry tv bye bye god bless you the supreme master chief leader bye take care of yourself